everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Green Garden Chick, Angie B. I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm really excited about this particular video. I like to try to make them as short and sweet as possible with the most information as I can push into one small video. Because I realize everyone is busy and you really want to just get to the meat and potatoes of the information. So I just really want to share with you some of the things that I am doing today, Sunday, um, the second day of fall, is I am uh, taking the seeds out of the seeds pods of these lettuce. I saved these lettuce from last um, spring. They uh, overgrew and uh, went to seed, as people would say. And a lot of people just kind of pull them up and throw them away and say, hey, they're not any good. But I save everything. Ask my husband. Anyway, um, so these are the seed pods. There's about 10 inside of there. And I just pop them off and put them inside any kind of little container. And um, yeah, these are green leaf lettuce. I also have my husband's favorite big piece of bush, a uh, red leaf lettuce. And you see, they just lay flat. I put them in a protective container and just let them air dry but shut and uh, so I'll be utilizing them. These make about, each pod makes about 10 seeds. And then as you know, one seed is a lettuce head. So right here from this particular container, uh, excuse me, little bush piece, a uh, limb or whatever you wanna call it. And inside here, I have about a thousand lettuce seeds. So of course we're not gonna eat all of that. We're going to share it, I'm going to sell it, and I'm going to utilize it for my family. So that's one thing. Now another thing is um, to get seeds as inexpensive as possible. I talked on another video about how sometimes I just go to the store and I get seeds from a couple of two, three small plants that have seeds. I dry them, I eat them or whatever, and then I save the seeds. Well here, these are seeds I get from the dollar store. I got these when Dollar Tree was old stock, and they were about two cents to five cents per seed. So what I did was, I have lots and lots of seeds. I have about seven boxes of seeds that I got last year. So uh, between the ones that I bought, the organic seeds, uh, non-GMO seeds that I bought online, and the seeds that I saved, and the seeds that I bought from like Dollar Store, I have seeds that last us for about five years. There's more to gardening than um, meets the eye. It's really easy once you get the hang of it, and I'll have more to share with you in the coming days, weeks, and months. Bye-bye.